let's use the standard enthalpy of formation data to determine the change in enthalpy for a chemical reaction. Now this is possible because enthalpy is a state function and so the path doesn't matter. Um, how you get from the beginning to the end doesn't matter. We can calculate change just by taking the final state minus the initial state. So this leads us to this handy equation. The change in enthalpy for a reaction under standard conditions is equal to the summation times the number of moles of that compound times the change in enthalpy of formation of all the products minus the summation times the, the molar coefficient for a particular compound and the change in enthalpy of formation under standard conditions for all the reactants. So let's uh, use this equation um, by way of an example. Let's look at the standard uh, change in enthalpy for the combustion of methanol using uh, change in enthalpy of formation data from a table. So first of all we need to write the balanced chemical equation. Um, so it's methanol and under standard conditions it would be in the liquid form and combustion is just burning in oxygen. So oxygen would be a gas to give uh, carbon dioxide which is a gas and under standard conditions uh, water would be a liquid because we'd end up at room temperature. Okay and so the uh, Let's see, we need to balance this equation. So there's two moles of methanol plus three moles of oxygen give four moles of carbon dioxide plus two moles of water. And then if we look up the um, change in enthalpy, for, well, let's rewrite the equation. It's uh, the change in enthalpy for the reaction under standard conditions is equal to the summation times the number of moles of each uh, compound, the change in enthalpy a formation for each compound under standard conditions for the products, because it's final minus initial, minus the summation times the molar coefficient, the heat of formation for each of the reactants. Okay, so that's our equation that you want to memorize. Now we can just look up the data um, in a table. So we're looking up the standard change in enthalpy of formation for all of the different compounds um, in the uh, <clears throat> reaction. So we've got methanol, we have oxygen, we have the change in enthalpy of formation of uh, carbon dioxide, and the change in enthalpy of formation under standard conditions for water. Okay, if I look up all those values in a table, either on our website or on um, a Wikichem site, we'll find out that the standard change in enthalpy for methanol is negative 238.6 kilojoules per mole of methanol formed. Oxygen of course is an element so there's no change in enthalpy of formation for an element because the definition of change in enthalpy of formation so that value is just zero. You wouldn't find it in a table. You need to know that the change in enthalpy of formation for all elements under their, in their standard states is zero. Um, is negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole for the carbon dioxide. It's negative 241.8 kilojoules per mole for the water. So given all this data, I can just plug it into the equation and solve. Um, so the change in enthalpy of the reaction is going to be the summation of the products uh, reaction. Summation of the products. Okay, so the products were carbon dioxide and water, and so we have to pay attention to the molar coefficients there. So it's going to be 4 times negative 393.5. I'm going to leave the units off uh, so it's not too messy. Um, plus, let's see, 2 times negative 241. That's the summation of the products minus the reactants. We have two moles of the methanol, it's negative 238.6 plus zero for the water, excuse me, zero for the oxygen. And so when I put all this into my calculator and add it up, I get the change in enthalpy 
for this particular reaction as written because it depends on how you've balanced this particular reaction is negative uh, 1277 kilojoules per mole reaction for this particular reaction as written. If uh, someone were to ask what is the um, heat of combustion for methanol, that has a special definition. The heat of combustion or the enthalpy of combustion, I'll write it as the enthalpy of combustion for any um, combustible material is defined as the for the change in combustion of one mole of the compound. So in this case, since my balanced reaction has two moles of methanol, the change in enthalpy of combustion for methanol would have to be per one mole of methanol would be equal to, um, it'd be this value divided by two, be 638.5 negative kilojoules per mole of methanol burned.